So this is an NMR question from the June 2012 paper, Rings Polymers Analysis, F324. The question starts by saying, the chemist obtains a mass spectrum and a proton NMR of one of the esters separated by GC. The mass spectrum has a molecular mass at MZ of 164. That means its molecular mass is 164. And the proton NMR is shown below. The numbers on the NMR spectrum represent the relative peak areas. So remember, the relative peak areas tell you how many protons are responsible for that peak. Analyze this information to identify the ester. Include full details of your analysis of the proton and MR spectrum. So it's not enough just to be able to tell me what the compound is. You need to tell me how you've got there. The easiest way to do this is to stick it in a table. So if we have the peak, and there's a peak at about, call it 2.0, call it 2.9, call it 4.4, call it 7.4-ish in ppm. Number of H's. So how many hydrogens are on that one? You say there are three. That one there has got two hydrogens on because there's a two. The relative peak area of this one is two, so there's two hydrogens. And the relative peak area of the peak at 7.4 is five. Multiplicity. So how many lines are there? That peak is a singlet. That peak is a triplet. That peak is a triplet. That is a mess. It's a multiplet. Okay. So what can we say? So we'll call it one, two, three, four. So from this, we can say one is a CH3. And it's a CH3 because we know there's three hydrogens. And it is has no adjacent hydrogens. because it's a singlet. It doesn't couple to anything. Peak 2, which is CH2, because it's got two hydrogens on. It's a triplet. So if it's a triplet three lines, what's that mean? It means it's next to two hydrogen atoms that are equivalent. Because a triplet is three lines. Take one off that, the number 2. Number 2 tells you the number of equivalent protons right next to it. So it's a CH2 next to a CH2, because it's a triplet. Okay. Same for part three. Peak three is a CH2 triplet. Peak four is, there are five, and it's a multiplet. Look at the chemical shift. The chemical shift is above seven. So these are aromatic protons. and there is one benzene ring. How do I know the one? there's one? Because there's five H's. So, if we turn this over, oops, onto this bit, so we there with. What can we say? Well, there's a CH3 that's isolated from something, there's a benzene ring, and there's two CH2s. These CH2s are next to each other. How do I know that? Because they're coupling. So these are the only two things that are coupling with each other, give triplets, which means they're adjacent, which means your molecule has got this part in, under something. It's also got a benzene ring in, We know it's an ester because the question says identify the ester. Why doesn't that show up in the NMR? It doesn't show up in the NMR because there are no protons on that part of the group. There's no H's. And we also know it's got a CH3. But the CH3 isn't next to anything. So how about if we connect that group, the benzene ring, up to the CH2 onto there? then we need to put something between the CH3 and that CH2 that doesn't contain any protons. So the only way you can do that is 
If you have a benzene ring like this, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, bond O, CH3. So that's an ester. And it also means the CH3 has got no adjacent hydrogens. We know that because there's no adjacent hydrogens there. We know there's two CH2s next to each other. There's two CH2s next to each other. And there's a benzene ring. And there's a benzene ring. If you add all that up, the molecular mass you get up to is 164. 